Thy testimonies are wonderful. Thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore doth my soul keep them. Therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light. The entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. It giveth understanding unto the simple. I open my mouth. I open my mouth. And pant it. For I long for thy commandments. I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me. Look thou upon me. And be merciful unto me. That thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word. And let and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Our scripture reading from Psalms chapter 119, verses 129 to 133. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading here and doing of his holy word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Now we have a couple of selections by the choir. Amen.
Jesus, my God. Amen. That was cool. Thank you. I'd like to welcome everybody here to the House of Jacob Bible Study class here in Detroit. And it's always a pleasure to be here. I'd like to welcome everybody that might be viewing or listening through all the outlets and hope you get an understanding out of this lesson today entitled The Angel the spirit of truth. Not angels is the reason why I didn't put S on it. The angel, the spirit of truth. All the angels that obey and help us like the testimony said, lead, and lead us into eternal salvation. That's their job to help us with this ministry to help us with our upbringing. You might not get that, but that's the job of the angels. And we're going to read some of those things. And the reason why I'm dealing with this lesson, and I know it's been dealt with so many times, but people seem to not understand who the spirit of truth is. Who is this angel? Like the brother told me, Abraham, it just says, he, the comforter, will lead and guide you. Who is that? And Because it has no name. That's elementary, who that is. I'm going to just tell you that. And when you don't understand that, it's because you haven't read enough or you've been listening too hard. Listening too hard, right? So, You think, you think Adam received the gift of the Holy Spirit? Do you? You think from man all the way to the present have received the gift of the Holy Spirit, which are words pertaining to eternal salvation? You think Adam knew about eternal salvation? You think once he got kicked out of the garden, being the son of God, being called the son of God. You don't think he needed the angel to lead and guide him in all truth? Because before Jesus came, this angel was here. And this angel, this angel, I'm not going to get off into how he used to be called Lucifer and the light bringer 
I'm not going to get off into that. Just get off into the thing that's present. Because Jesus had to die. And when the Messiah died, he gave them instructions before he died concerning this angel. This, this angel is nothing new. He was around during the days of Adam, Moses, all through history. And he was around before the Lord created the heavens and the earth. This guy know everything. There's a lot of things committed into this angel's hand. Now just remember, everybody got their part. Everybody got their part. We're not walking around this earth, the only ones busy. The angels are walking around busy, whether they're evil or good, right? So when people say, See, Abraham, when two or more is gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. And that's in Matthew. I understand that. And I might say a couple of things over in my introduction with, along with when we start reading. Right? But Jesus himself is not in your midst because the book says Two or more, when two or more is gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. The Lord don't operate like that, and he's not going to change because you can't get it. He's not going to change. Everything's been set up. It's been ordained, predestined, right? But what he do have is his presence. That's just how he decided to deal with it. Because with this angel, everything is equipped in this angel to do the things that the Lord sent him out to do. Right? That's what the angels do. They are sent to do what the Lord say do. Now, Gabriel is an angel that you all have heard of, and I'm just throwing this out there. Michael is a name that you all have heard of. What's the other angel? Right? Satan, right? Satan, we just deal with those three. But under those three, those are the heads of the angels dealing with the things that the Lord then sent them to do. And all the other angels that's under them, that operate under them, right? They operate under those angels. All other angels serve under them, be it good or evil, on the behalf of the Lord and for his pleasure, whatever it might be. Since the angels were created, these beings have been the spirit of truth and they proceed actually from the Father. Right? Right? So when a brother said, hey Abraham, he shows me in St. John chapter 6, 15. He said, see, he says, he, the spirit of truth, he, he have no name. And you can't show it to me because I didn't read this Bible. That's what he told me. Then the other brother said, yeah, Abraham, that's right. right. He said, okay. I told him I'll wait to deal with them. Right? Because too many scriptures was popping in my mind to debunk what they're saying. Everybody knows the word of God. Let's just say that. Don't nobody need to be taught no more. Right? Let them tell it. And I'm so down on this. Everything that we tell you is the truth. Right? I'm not talking about these fair weather preachers or teachers. You got more teachers than prophets. Everybody is a teacher now. 
Why? Because you got the World Wide Web. Right? The internet. So now everybody, goofy or ungoofy, silly or unsilly, unknowledgeable or knowledgeable, can get on that. And I hate this camera. I don't have nothing against the camera. It's just some things that we talk about, I don't like them to know. You know why? Because it gives them something. They don't know nothing. I'm getting ready to give them something, some, a couple of things that I just don't want them to know. And you might say that's wrong. No, I'm talking to a lot of false teachers and a lot of false prophets out there with that thing that the people is getting ready to let show on YouTube, right? So when he told me that, see Abraham, I knew he didn't understand a couple of things, that this guy don't have a name. I wanted to tell him so bad, hey man, my name is Abraham, right? This is simple, my name is Abraham, right? That's what the people call me. When I go out and I preach the gospel, do I come in the name of Abraham? That's the answer. I don't come in the name of Abraham. I hope you don't either. Angels got names, and the Lord know them all. But since the death and the resurrection of Jesus is, it is, here it is. Since the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, all the servants of the Most High God have agreed, whether you know it or not, have agreed to come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's a revelation. Because he wouldn't have even brought that to me. See, Abraham, he has no name. The Lord said he know all the sun and he know all the stars by name. You don't think he know all the angels by name? You don't read. That's what I told him. You don't read. You don't read. And when you read, you be looking for something. Looking for something. Looking for something. Looking for something. You know what they be looking for? They be looking to debunk everything that we didn't talk to people. That's what they be looking to do. It's okay. I smell smoke coming off your clothes, dude. You're on your way to the lake of fire and keep talking that stuff. I smell smoke coming off your clothes. And I'm for real. See? All this crazy foolishness that people bringing up. Had an angel, don't have a name. What else? A fault and a sin is not the same. Another thing. Uh, what's another thing? Um, I'm trying to think. You got anything, Michael? What's another thing? Oh, oh, I got it. It came to my mind. A different place of safety. A different place of safety. You're going to hear that in the next few weeks. It's more than one place of safety. You know why? Because you got to prepare. That's what they say. You got to prepare. You got to prepare. Right? For great tribulation. How do you prepare for great tribulation? That's the thing that's going around now. And I'm talking about supposed to be preachers. See, there's only one place of safety. Why are you telling people that this false prophet and this beast is going to be over one quarter part of the earth? When the book says that. But you didn't do everything out like great tribulation that's not going to take over the entire earth. And you think it's an, prepare, you all, prepare. That's what he's saying, prepare, prepare. How do you prepare? That's what I want to know. Seeing that the Lord told you how to prepare. You got to have oil in your lamps. The lamp is you. That's how you prepare. There ain't no greater preparation. There's no greater preparation. There's none written. If you know one, tell me now. How to prepare to escape great tribulation. We ain't even on that subject. But I got to throw that out there. 
Because this is one of the things you're going to hear coming. Let's look at some of them teachers on Friday night. Right? Man, I be wishing I have a sock, like three or four of them, just to stick in their mouth. Right? I'm for real. See? Because everybody knows Christ now. Everybody know end time. COVID. The brother with COVID. That started the seals being open. Right? He forgot that the seals, time must pass. How long COVID been here and been gone? How long? Because remember the great tribulation only lasts three and a half years. And the seals being open is part of the great tribulation. Matter of fact, great tribulation announces the seals being open. But COVID, you said, because it's a crown, crown means COVID, you think that announced the seals being open. Well, the seals run for three and a half years. Right? All them seals is going to be open. Right? And we've been in COVID, what, two years? And then on top of it, you know what he tells me? He said, hey, Abraham, I need you to go over the book of Daniel with me. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. For a preacher to ask me to go over Daniel with them, the book of Daniel, where the Lord in Matthews pointed you to the book of Daniel to deal with great tribulation, but I got to teach you Daniel? And you already out there talking about the seals are open? I'm not going to teach you nothing. I'm not showing you nothing. See? I'm not showing you nothing. Right? See? So since Jesus died and left, what the people don't understand is the Father gave the Lord an order. Sit at my right hand. To I make that enemies that footstool. So no matter how much you read, where it says, two or more are gathered in my name, there I'm in the midst, he means that. And he means that that is not him in your midst. But his presence is in your midst by the way of this angel that he can send. See? Ephesians chapter 3. Let's go to Ephesians Chapter 3. See. See the mountains and the sun, the moon, the stars, Abraham, and everybody else that love the Lord know they must come in the name of the Lord. Even the angels understand they must come in the name of the Lord. Since Jesus then died and rose again, ever since then, Everything is under the banner and order of Jesus. If you come in any other name, you're an imposter. And the Lord is going to look at it like that. Ephesians 3, and pick it up at verse 9. When you get it, go ahead. And to make all men... Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, let me get that. Let me get that, excuse me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh -huh. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. Of the mysteries. Go ahead. Which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God, mm. who created all things by Jesus okay, Christ. Okay, so you can read that and just think you understand all these mysteries, right? These are revelations. Jesus is the revelator. Unless he show it to you, you will not get it. Right? What is the mystery? Which from the beginning of the world has been hid. Now all of a sudden you know. Go ahead. To the intent. To the intent. That now unto the principalities mm. and powers in heaven. The places might be known by the church. The manifold wisdom of God. See. See. This thing is big. This, this, this is not a regular book that you just go pick up and think you're just going to open it up and read. It's not my Angelo. It's not none of that. It's not none of that. It's not Richard Wright, Langston Hughes. It's none of that. 
all these beautiful poems that's supposed to be in songs that the people liken these poems to. Are you out of your mind? Do you know what's in the book of Psalms? No, you don't. Right. Go ahead. According to the eternal purpose. This is the eternal purpose of his revelation. Go ahead. Which he proposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The Father proposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Go ahead. In whom we have boldness mm. and access with confidence by faith of him. Go ahead. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Go ahead. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now look at this. They read part of this, but they let some things go past. Go ahead. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. That's it. The whole family of earth is named. That's why the Lord referred to him as he. When the Spirit, when he come, the comforter, the Spirit of truth, when he come, he shall lead and guide you into all truth. He knows why he did not say Gabriel. He knows that. See, this is after the death of Jesus. See, everybody that knows like me to the death, this is to the death, all of us have names. But when we come, we come in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is why they don't understand why, why it says, and we're going to read it. He, the spirit of truth, when he, the spirit of truth, come. See, that's why he, they didn't get that. They didn't get the memo on that. That's the reason why he didn't call him he. This is after the death. Everything that comes after the death of Jesus must come in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You can tell them, yeah, my name is Abraham. Hey, but I come in the name of the Lord. Right? You got to let them know that. Right? Not in your name. See? Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Wait a minute, what was the title of the song? One of the songs, y'all say. Bless the Lord and Psalms 23. Right. Didn't you all say somewhere in that, bless his holy name? Yeah. You can't be just saying that just to be saying it. We saying it because we understand why we saying it. Mm -hmm. There's no other name given where principalities and powers are subject to. I tell people all the time. He said, Abraham, you know what? I was telling him this about the scriptures, and I was telling him this about the scriptures, and I was telling him that about the scriptures. I said, okay, did you ever read it? He said, no, I was, you know, because I know it, I was, I was just giving it to him like that. You know, I was, what do they call it? Ad-libbing, what it was. Well, I was just paraphrasing. paraphrasing. Yeah. That is the wrongest thing you can do. That's only given for a certain period of time or for a short moment. But at some point, you got to open up the book and show. They are not going to hear your words paraphrasing. That's the power of the word. If you don't know that, you might as well stop. You can stop. You can stop. Like the book say, study to show yourself approved. Using his words to correct the situation. To reprove, to rebuke. You can't do it with paraphrasing. They didn't hear it paraphrasing all their life. They mama paraphrasing. They father paraphrasing. They big brother paraphrasing. Now you paraphrasing. Quit paraphrasing. Right? Lord didn't paraphrase none. The closest he came to paraphrasing was breaking it down in a parable. And he said he won't talk no other way unless he talk in a parable. At least hearing they might hear and be converted see so he talked to the people in parables because they can't hear they refuse not that they don't want it they don't want to hear so he give it to them in the simplest form in a parable and if you can't get that that's what you hear at the end of it right 
right? This stuff is serious. It's real serious. Romans 1 and 5. Go ahead. By whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. For his name concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh to declare it to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Go ahead. Among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. See, no other name. No other name. That's good with that. Let's go to Luke chapter 1. Remember, Jesus is not born yet, neither is John, where we're getting ready to go. We're going to Luke. John is not born, and Luke is not born. And his angel is coming to declare some things. We're going to skip around a little bit. Let me see how I had that written. Okay. Luke 1. And pick it up at verse 34. Read 34 and 35. Go ahead. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Now she's talking to the angel, but I'm leaving the name of the angel out. The way this guy brought this to me was, see, spirit of truth, this guy, he don't have a name, right? So I'm leaving the name out for a reason. Go ahead. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. This is the Holy Ghost we're talking about. Go ahead. Therefore also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Go back up to verse 28 and start. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Now remember, this angel knows everything from the beginning of time. Until now. You can't see that there. But if you read, mm -hmm. you would know that. This angel, this very angel, this angel showed up in a couple of places. Because he has some things to do. And some information to pass on. He given it to Mary, and he's going to give it to Elizabeth. What verse? Verse 29. Go ahead. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying. That's him. Go ahead. And cast in her mind what manner of salutations this should be. Go ahead. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Mm -hmm. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great. He shall be called the Son of the Highest, mm. and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. How do he know this? How do he know this? Seeing that this was ordained from the foundations of the world. How do this angel know that? See, Abraham, he ain't got no name. Okay, keep on reading. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there shall be no end. That's what the angel told her. That's the angel. And of his kingdom shall be no end. How do he know that? Right? Verse 15. Same book, same chapter, verse 15. Now, let's see. For Go, he Go ahead, I'm sorry. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. How do he know this? Go ahead. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. How do he know this guy is a Nazareth? Go ahead. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. This is a lot of information this angel given. But he supposedly don't have a name. Go ahead. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. What? He knows that too? 
This angel know a lot of things, right? Verse 8, same chapter, same book, chapter 8. Go ahead. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office mm -hmm. before God in the order of his course. This is Zechariah, the priest, right? He, he uh, executing the priest's office before God, before God, right? Go ahead. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Go ahead. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord. Oh, here's this angel. Go ahead. Standing on the right side of the altar go, of incense. Go ahead. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. Go ahead. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayers is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Skip down to verse 18. Now let's see Zechariah. Go ahead. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. Ah, uh, he knows that. Go ahead. And the angel answered him, saying unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. Really? Really? This is the angel, and he got a name? Right? Well, that don't show me he being the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. You're a hard-headed person. Right? Right? It's okay. Okay. So I'm going to... Spend my time. This is my time that I'm spending with you. Right? And he just laughs. I'm for real. He just laughs. Verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee. He was sent from who? From God. Go ahead. Unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Go ahead. And he know where to go? Go ahead. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, mm -hmm. of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. That's, I think that's good enough. So we got a name. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Let me see what I have here. Pick it up. <laughs> and pick it up at verse... 13, go ahead. This just, I'm just hitting it a little bit. We can read all of this, but I'm just hitting it a little bit. Go ahead. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying. And I'm, I'm just showing you this because all of these angels, these are not Gabriel. These just some more angels. Just trying to show you the difference between the angel Gabriel, the higher order of an archangel compared to other angels, right? So this, look, look, look who's doing this praising, other angels. Read that again. And suddenly there was with the angel. There was with the angel. A multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Go ahead. And it came to pass as the angels we're going away from them into See? heaven. Go ahead. The shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Mm. And that's good enough. That's good enough. I just wanted to show you there's other angels doing other things as well. But they are not Gabriel. They just operate under their chorus. Right? Uh, Ephesians chapter 3 again. Ephesians chapter 3 again. One, one scripture. Mm. Let me see. Pick it up at verse 14 again. 
and read on down. 3 and 14, go ahead. And remember, remember we read about this revelation of Jesus Christ and according to the eternal purpose which is proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him, wherefore we desire that you faint not. Go ahead, verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Why? That he will grant you, according to the riches of his glory, Go ahead. to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. See, here come the angel. You think you're doing this on your own? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not all of that. I'm not all of that. Right? You're not doing everything on your own. These angels have purpose, see. And when you get ready to do something wrong, and you and you think is, man, I better not do that. That's not all you on your own. You've been helped. It's gonna lead and guide you into all what? Truth, Truth and righteousness. You're right. Right? It's not you. Because the Lord is dealing with the inner man now. Remember the Lord said in Jeremiah 31 and 31, he said, these are the days that the Lord will put his laws into your inward parts and write them in your heart. Remember that? Right? Remember that? When you think that started to happen. That started to happen when Jesus said, I've told you in time past, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I tell you now, if a man look upon a woman to lust after her, in his heart he hath committed adultery and fornication already. That's when that started. That is the beginning of the Lord starting to write the laws in your heart. Where he starts to check you as such, because now he didn't came in the flesh. You don't have to go to the priest no more. Do all them offerings after his death. Now he's going to start judging you. Right? Just like he said in Jeremiah 31. He's going to write the laws in your... They always had it written in their in they heart. In their inward part. But because Jesus was who he is. The ultimate sacrifice. And his blood made a difference. In the old and the new. And that's what people are not getting. All the people talk about fringes. And the white garments and all of that. They're not getting it. And then you turn around and you ask them, how do you worship Jesus? You know what they tell me? In spirit and in truth. So why are you thinking fringes mean anything? And why are you thinking the brother had draped in all white. With Jesus as Lord written on the back in gold. With a crown on his head that he made, right? And I say, amen, before we start. You think you want to take that crown off? He said, my head not covered. Right? What do you do? Right? Right? He think the white is the righteousness of the saints. But he's not talking about that white. He said, put on Christ. Didn't he? He said, let this mind be in you. This mind in you. It's not about the clothes. You can't worship Jesus or the Father in no such attire. The Lord will not have it. As a matter of fact, like I told the brother, I said, man, the Lord didn't command them to, to um, wear fringes. I said, read that. I said, everybody that's ever in a union, ever in a union, they work on the docks, trucks, whatever they do. Every time the year come around, guess what they got to do? They got to be it for their spot, don't they? I'm only talking to the people who know what I'm talking about, right? You got to be it for your spot, right? That's what the Lord told them to do. And you know, that's an, that's an option. Whether you want to put your bid in or not. He said, bid the people that they make fringes. Never commandment. It was for the hard-headed people. I'm not going to even get off 
no more into that. Where we at? Verse 17. Go ahead. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. See, this is it. This is it. If anybody call itself doing anything by works and thinking that's getting you an advantage with God and the Father, you are wrong. It is not your works that justify you. No matter how much you do, it's not your works. Then grace wouldn't be grace. Your works would get you in. Right? It's not works. That's a hard thing for people to understand. Well, man, I did it. No, that's just your reasonable service as a human being staying alive. Right? Right? But we have the eternal salvation. So where did that come in at? If your works is just works, we don't need God's blood. It's not your works that justify you. No, you better do that. You better do that. You better treat him right. You better treat her right. That's what you better do. Now, if you want to get in eternal salvation, you want salvation, turn to me. See, I deal with this. Everybody got that. That's where the Lord dwells in that. So all that, all that stuff we doing that's unclean, you got to stop. It starts off as uncleanness first. Right? It starts off as uncleanness first. You got to become unclean before you even decide to violate any of the commandments. You're unclean. Right? You're unclean here. You got to think about it before you go do it. And that's the Jesus we deal with, especially us that know the Lord. That's why we got to try hard and fight those devils. That's what anxiety is. They're devils. And they know they can move you in any way. Right? 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 They're devils. But if Christ is in you and with you, he's with you. Take your time. Breathe. Right? You know something. You know something. The Lord ain't leave you where you don't have enough strength to fight that off. And it's going to come for a minute. But it's going to, the Lord going to slowly heal you from that. Slowly heal you. We're dealing with a lot of stuff. We're dealing with a lot of evil angels. They are here. Right? Fight. Fight. Fight, fight. Do not give up your eternal salvation. Do not give up your... We are so, 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 so close. We are so close. Don't give up your eternal salvation. Did we finish reading 17? No. Keep, start from the beginning. That is 17. All right. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints. See, just relax. Comprehend with all the saints. Go ahead. What is the breadth? What's the breadth of his word? Go ahead. And length. What's the length of his word? This is not no any book you can just pick up. The stuff we hold in, this is heavenly. Yeah. This is heavenly. Right, this is heavenly. Go ahead. And depth. And the depth and the breadth. Go ahead. And height. Go ahead. And to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that mm. ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. What verse? Verse 20. Go ahead. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Go ahead. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Yeah, Amen. You got to understand that. You really got to understand that. Okay, let's go to Saint. Let's go to Isaiah 64. Isaiah 64. Isaiah 64. Isaiah 64. This angel. Isaiah 64. I think I just got one verse. Chapter verse four. 64. 
in for one verse. There's a sense to begin, and people might read this. Go ahead. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard. They have not heard. Nor hey, heard. listen. That means they have not understood. They, you can hear words coming into your ears because it's audio. But that's not getting understanding. Men have not understood. Men have not heard. Go ahead. Nor perceived by the ear. They haven't even perceived. That's how I know it's understanding. Mm -hmm. They don't even come close to understanding this. Go ahead. Neither have the eyes seen. See, he ain't talking about, he talking about not this eye, but this eye. You hear with this. You see with this. Go ahead. Oh God, beside thee, what he had prepared for him that waited for him. Read it again. Go ahead. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O oh God, beside thee, what he had prepared for him that waited for him. Wait for him. St. John 14. St. John chapter 14. Wait on the Lord. Don't make no moves. Don't let nobody tell you. When the Lord say, you know, when abomination make a desolate stand in a holy place, where it ought not, so readers let them understand, him that is in Judea, flee then. The brothers say, man, well, you got to prepare. Remember, the beast and the false prophet is going to be over a quarter part of the earth. Are you mad? Are you mad? All right, so where, where, how do I prepare then for the great tribulation? Sin is a time on earth like never, like no other. Not even in the days of Noah is this time. Everything that man knows, as he knows it, is coming to an end. It's actually come to an end. The arrogancy, I said all the time, the arrogancy of men. That's ceasing. That's one of the first things on the agenda. The Lord is breaking down these men. Yeah, yeah, all these tough men in the gym, pumping out. Right, looks great. Take off the shirt, muscles all over. Right. Ain't gonna make no difference. They're gonna be broke down, heart failing. They heart gonna be failing for the things that's coming up on the earth, the Lord said. They heart failing. See, all them cats, don't worry about it. You ain't got to go to the gym. You ain't got to get LA Fitness. You ain't got to do none of that. Keep pumping this word with some understanding. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's about to hit. Watch, it's about to hit. Brother, come talking about go here and go there. He's, he's not going to be over there, but, but go over here. The Lord only talked about one place of safety. Why are you tripping? Because you didn't put the, the title of preacher in front of your name. You slipping, dude. You slipping. You slipping. And I tell them all the time, you weren't around in 1981 when we got the memo. You weren't around. You was not around. See, that's a good thing about the Israel of God, the house of Jacob. Then I so I'm going to say it like this, because it looked like I'm an ambassador for the house of Jacob, so I'll say the house of Jacob first. Man, why you make mention of the Israel of God first and not the house of Jacob? We the same. All oh, the house of Jacob is the Israel of God. I ain't talking about the people. I'm talking about the devotion to God. The son, right? The Israel of God is the house of Jacob. The house of Jacob is the Israel of God. See? And we never lied on, we never added or took away from the word of God. Never! I'm not talking about these cats who can't figure things out. I'm talking about never. Never, 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 never. See, never. See? Right? Right? Just hold on, hold on. And I'm going to tell you something. In 1980, 
85, 86, 87, 80. Nobody had not got the word like this since we set up in 1980. I'm talking about established where the words went out. Now you see the whole world got the word of God. Not saying that a lot of them didn't hear the word of God, but the Lord in the aisles of the Gentiles established the Israel of God, all the people that came with that camp that's here today in the house of Jacob under the Israel of God. Those are the ones that the Lord sent the word out. Like Paul and them in our day, that's hard to fathom. But people need to understand that. They have no idea who Boo is. They have no idea who Daniel is. They have, they have no idea who Hezekiah is, if he hold on. They have no idea who God is. They have no idea who this sister is, who Brian. They have no idea who we are. They have no idea. They have no idea because they think the world going to continue. They think the world going to continue. No, 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 no. We are the Peter, the Paul, the John. We are those people. We are the seed of those children. The act, people don't understand. When the righteous seed continue and you become righteous in this generation, you are from that generation of that holy seed that traveled all the way down. It's hard to see. You see? Hey, man, why are you, why are you so... Passion. Why are you hollering so much? The sister told me yesterday. Why are you hollering? I'm not hollering. I'm not. She said, she said, Abraham, put on your, your, she don't know me. She said, put on your pastor voice. <laughs> I said, that is my pastor voice. Right? I said, that is my pastor voice. I said, I'm not mad at you. I said, you think I'm mad? I'm not mad at you. I said, you got to Stop that. You're not going to heaven. You're just not. You're just not. Stop. 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 You stop. Because the people today, I bet you wish you, you love that dog, don't you? Yeah, and he's going with me. Eh, where I go? Really? All right. Let's see how long he stay up there. You ain't even going. Right? And she think, yeah, I, I mean, you know what, this starting to get, it's not comical, but it's the people is out of bounds with their thoughts. That's why, that's why we went over a few things with the difference between a fault and a sin. A fault and a sin is the same. Identical to Christ. Now what you think it is and what Christ said is, that's your problem. See? So keep thinking a fault and a sin is different. Right? Where we at? Uh, St. John 14. Okay, St. John 14. Let's pick it up at verse 15. This is the beginning of the lesson. Would you? Oh, cool. Thank you. St. John 14. Pick it up at verse 15. St. John 14. And pick it up at verse 15. Here we go. Go ahead. If you love me, uh -huh. keep my commandments. Uh-huh. Because the Lord is getting ready to leave. The Lord is getting ready to leave. And he had even told Philip and them. Philip and them had asked him about showing them the Father. Show us the Father that it might suffice us. Right? He said, and, and the Lord took it in, really in, indignant. He said, have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Then how sayest thou then show us the Father? If he understood that, he wouldn't have even asked him that. Yeah. See? Believest thou not that I am in the Father? And the Father in me, the words that I speak. Unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that 
dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. You got to believe. You got to believe. These words are not sitting on this book. Just to read. Believe me that I am the Father and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very works sake. Truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. That's why you must be healed of all those other things like anxiety and all these other things that touches you, like fear, like fear. I was dealing with this, with fear. Nobody don't know what fear is. They do not know what fear is. Wow. I said, wow. Not enough reading. Fear, 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 fear. What is fear? Somebody tell me just what is fear? Spirit. It's a spirit. The initial shock of fear. All you got to do is get over the initial shock. The flesh going to do what it do. Remember that. The flesh is going to fear. The flesh can't do nothing. If something come up on it, it's going to fear. But what stops that? The inner man. Uh oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, Lord. I got it, right? Quit fearing. Let the initial shock hit you that it is fear, but recover quickly. That's what happened with people with COVID. They read all that book and they forget already. Fear gonna come. You don't have to bathe in it, right? Bathe in fear. Yes, give me, right? Ah, but I believe in God. No, you don't. The Lord is trying to show you how to believe. The body is going to absorb the initial shock of fear. But that is not you. That is not you. That is not you. That's just the flesh reacting to the initial shock of what the world calls fear. That's why Jesus said, right? when he was on his way to his death, right? But he turned around and said, right? For this end was I born. He said, should I say, Lord, save me, right? Should I say that, Father, save me? No, to this end was I born, see? What verse? Verse 16. Go ahead. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comfort. Look, he's going to give you another comfort because he has to leave. The Lord had to leave. He said, I'm going to send you another comfort. Go ahead. That he may abide with you forever. Mm. Even the spirit of truth, mm. whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. See, go but, ahead. But ye know. But wait a minute, you're supposed to know him. Here come another plague on earth. It's coming. And it's going to hit us. The money's going to leave. What you going to do then? Oh my gosh. I can deal with COVID as long as I got money. Right? Well, money's going to leave. What you going to do now? Start robbing. Well, he got it. He got it. You know everything. Stop telling people what you got. Right? Right? It don't matter. Go ahead. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. That, that, you know, that's some benefit that the Lord has given us. This Holy Spirit that's with us. Go ahead. I will not leave you comfortless. No, he will not. Listen. Go ahead. I will come to you. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. Uh, comfortless. I will come to you. But who are you going to send? His angel. Go ahead. Yet a little while, uh -huh. and the world seeth me no more. Mm -hmm. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Mm -hmm. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. Mm -hmm. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Listen, when the Lord say move, 
That's when you move. Don't move no other time sooner than that. Don't try to go to Cameroon or Egypt trying to escape great tribulation because you call yourself preparing. Don't go to Zimbabwe trying to prepare to escape the Lord. No, don't do that. Just stand still where you are and see the salvation of God. And he's going to show you how he can save. He's going to show you how he can save. You're either going to be left back or you're going to go to the wilderness. There ain't no other place of safety. So when you hear these people talking about prepare, you got to prepare. Ain't that the simplest thing to do? The Lord say prepare. With oil in your lamps. Read that word. See, Because I guarantee you, when they set up the animal sacrifices, and these brothers start talking, okay, now we got we to gotta do this, we got to do this, and we got to do and we got Wait a minute. That's just animal sacrifices. Don't try you what you're trying to do, get closer to Jerusalem so you can have a jump on it. Okay. Do whatever you want to do. But the Lord arm um, stretches far across the whole world. Right? And those are the people who can't believe that God is that are the people in Egypt. Here they come, they're gaining on us. The Egyptians are gaining on us. Right? The angel just moved from the back and he went to the front and he just stood there, right? Because the Lord got this stuff figured out for you, right? right? He said, behold their faces because the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more, right? That's how you're going to do with this guy that's called the beast and the entourage of the false prophets. See, when they set up this animal sacrifices, then you can kind of keep waiting on the Lord. Keep waiting. Because you got a thousand and forty days before this guy come and put an end to that. I know that. Right? Because it's the vision of 2,300 days, written in day. I ain't going to say no more because the camera is on us. Mm. I'm for real about that. Mm -hmm. Keep on. What verse? Verse 22. Uh, skip down to verse 20, skip, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Mm, whom the Father will send in my name. Jesus is not sending the Holy Ghost or the Comforter. Jesus is not. The Father. This guy proceeds from the Father. Go ahead. He shall teach you all things. Wait a minute. And you think you get it on your own, right? You think you get it on your own? No, you don't. 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 When you think you're getting it on your own, that's when you come up to me. With Abraham, I just can't figure this out. What is the Lord saying right here? Relax. Read this. I'll give you a list of scriptures you can read. Now go back. Don't be looking for nothing. Just read the scriptures. Go through them. Take your time. And the Holy Ghost will lead and guide you in all truth. I can't do his job. That is what's happening with all of us that come to this word, sit down, and start to get it. The angel that's been there from the beginning of time will lead and guide you into all truth. People read this all the time and they can't explain what they're saying. Go ahead. And bring all things to your remembrance. Yeah. If you're going to bring all things to your remembrance, guess what? You got to do some reading. Or remember at least what you heard so he can bring it back to your remembrance. But if you don't remember, if you don't read nothing, you don't have no memories of nothing. Plus, you're waiting for somebody to tell you. <coughs> Why wait for somebody to tell you? Read and then get together and figure out the rest of it. Go ahead. Whatsoever I have said unto you, hmm. peace I leave you, peace I leave with you. 
My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. See? You've got to be able to do that. Just remember, to be afraid or fear is just an initial shock of the flesh. Just get over that real quick, boom, and get back on point, right? You're not going to die. If you die doing the right thing, that's what you got to do anyway. You got to put off the flesh. You got to put off the flesh. So quit trying to keep it, right? And you know what? I'm going to go vegan this week. And I'm going to go do this. And I'm going to run this. And I'm going to do this. Hey, keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. That ain't keeping you alive. That's not going to even get you a chance in eternal salvation. You're going to be so locked in that, that, hey, man, man, I got to go to the gym. I got to do this. I got to eat this. Sister come showing me some imitation shrimp. She said, see, Abraham, just guess the imitation. I said, what it tastes like? She said, it tastes like shrimp. She said, see, but it's imitation, Abraham. It's imitation. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, okay. I said, okay. And that was it, right? I'm not going to try to convince you not the imitation shroud, right? <laughs> the Lord is the true vine, right? And his father is the husband. Let's go to uh, St. John 16 and, and look at this, what this, this lesson came from. See? He don't say his name right here. It don't say his name. St. John 16. And pick it up at verse 5. Because the only way this comforter had to go, to come, was for Jesus to come. Jesus to leave. Mm -hmm. See? Verse 5, chapter 16, St. John. When you get it, go ahead. But now I go my way to him that sent me. See, that's what I had to tell the sister. See, he left. He is on the right hand of the father. Sister said, see, Abraham, I listen. I listen. I hear the word of God. The Lord said, when two or more is gathered in my name, she got the book, <laughs> in my name, there I am in the midst. What do the book say, Abraham? See, I ain't like everybody else to sit up in here and listen to you. I, the book said, and I'm sweating. I'm just sweating. I'm for real. Dad, have I told you all this? No, man, I'm just sweating. I mean, and everybody just standing around looking at me sweat. Right? Right? Because you got to do that in order not to do something else or say something else, right? And I ain't taught this sister for a while. Love her. Love her, right? And she just started off right here and ended up right there. <laughs> and I'm just sitting in the chair, just sinking down, right? I'm just sinking down and sinking down and sinking down. I'm for real, right? Right? You're one of them ones that will kill me. I know who you are. I already know who you are. Right, you want not unless the, you repent and the Lord showed you, I'd be on the end of the shish kebab. Right, I would be. Right, right, and, and she ain't the only one. She, she's not the only one. I don't know what what it is, man. The more passion you have for the people, the more they hate you. Go ahead. And none of you asketh me. What verse? Verse five, middle. Go ahead. And none of you asketh me whether go is thou. Right. Go ahead. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. You don't think the Lord meant that? It's, it's important that he go away. It's important. Go ahead. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Everything is on schedule. Everything is on schedule, even the three days and three nights. And when the Lord had to be back with the Father after the 40 days of showing himself. Everything is on schedule. Everything is on schedule. Everything is on schedule. Go ahead. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin. Look what this guy do. 
Oh, you just think he's going to lead and guide you in all truth? No. And when he come, he will reprove the world of sin. Right? Oh, it's not just a nice angel. Go ahead. And of righteousness. Uh-huh. And of judgment. And of judgment. See, these people have no idea who Gabriel is. See? Go ahead. Of sin. Of sin. Because they believe not on me. See? That's the true sin. Go ahead. Of righteousness. Because I go to my father and ye see me no more. Go ahead. Of judgment. Because the prince of this world is judged. Go ahead. I have, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Mm. How be it when he, the spirit of truth. This is where all this whole lesson started. See, Abraham, he. Tell me who he is. It ain't even written. It ain't even written. It's not even written. He, when he. Who is he? I didn't read the book. I didn't read the book. Right. When he. Go ahead. I ain't got to him yet. They down in Peoria. This lesson I haven't got to him yet. Right. I ain't got to him yet. Not unless he look at this and he see it coming. That's why I don't like that camera. I don't want to see him, me, see him see me coming. I don't. Right, go ahead. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Yeah, man, this guy got a name. He has a name. The only reason why the Lord is not calling him by the name Gabriel is because when Jesus died and he come back, every being, whether it's physical or spiritual, come, they come in, in his name. Now, this spirit of truth is going to come in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. For he shall not speak of himself. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was like, I wish I had a mic. Right? That's the mic drop thing, right? Right? He will not speak of himself. Wait a minute. And you're going to point that out to me? See, Abraham, he ain't, you know, who is he? Who is he? Who is he? See, his name ain't even in there. You can't show me that. Right? It said, dude, did you read the rest of that? For he shall not speak of himself is the reason why. Go ahead. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. Oh, yeah, and he's going to take your words back to the Father. Yeah. See, don't think that's just, you know, some little stuff going on. Go ahead. And he will show you things to come. And he'll show you things to come. This guy got it all. He's going to lead you all the way up out of great tribulation. This guy. Keep talking about like you know where to go. Right? Go ahead. He shall glorify me. Huh? For he shall receive a mind mm. and shall show it unto you. All yep. things that the Father have are mine. Mm. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine. He shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. Go ahead. A little while and ye shall not see me. And again a little while and ye shall see me because I go to the Father. That's good enough. Let's go to Revelation chapter 1. Man, I wanted to hit this guy so hard with some scriptures. See, he don't understand the Father, nor the Son, nor his Holy Spirit. See, when you talk like that, you know, see, he ain't got no name. He didn't give him a name. Everybody got a name. Everybody got a name. And the Lord know them all. Not only do he know your name, he know how many pieces of hair you got on your head. I guarantee you that. Pluck one that ain't good. And let leprosy set all over you. And then all of a sudden you bite. And then all of a sudden, I bet you, I bet you you be calling on Jesus. But he ain't coming. But the angel will come. That person you think ain't got no name. Right? Where we at? Revelations 1. Revelations 1 and 1. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So here's the revelation of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him. Which the Father gave to Jesus. Go ahead. To show unto his servants. Us. Things which must shortly come to pass. Okay, how are we going to get it? And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. 
Go ahead. Who bear record of the word now of God. Now this guy, this angel bear record of the word of God. I'm talking about from everlasting to everlasting. From the time he was created and here on the set, this guy know it all. Go ahead. And of the testimony. He said the, he know the record of God. Do you hear what that's saying? Go ahead. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And he know the testimony of his son. Go ahead. And of all things that he saw. What? Go ahead. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, uh -huh. and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. For if the time was at hand 2,000 years ago, what you think we had now? Mm -hmm. And we only had two days left. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 1. <coughs> the workings of the Holy Spirit. The workings of the angel. The workings of the Holy Ghost. So he sent it. All the way from the Father. He said, and the Holy Ghost proceeded from the Father. Hebrews 1. Pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead. God, who has sundry times and in divers manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. See, I know that's the Father. <coughs> who spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophet. Go ahead. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Uh-huh. By whom also he made the worlds. Mm. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. That's Jesus. Go ahead. And upholding all things by the word of his power. Uh-huh. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. See, the father... The son is sitting with the father. See, no matter what the books say. See, see, see. When two or more is gathered in my name. We're going to read some Exodus. We're going to read some Ezekiel. But go ahead. We're going to read Hebrews. Go ahead. What verse? Verse 4. Look what it say. Being made so much better than the angels. We're talking about Jesus. As he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Yes. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. See, this is the father talking. Go ahead. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the See, world. See, when the father brought in the first begotten into the world, he said. He said, and let all the angels of God worship him. Go ahead. And of the angels, he said. Who maketh his angel spirits mm -hmm. and his ministers a flame of fire. See, that's who Jesus did. He made his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. That's good enough. Skip down to verse 13. Let's see the purpose of these angels. Go ahead. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Look what their job is. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? See? So now you know on your way to get eternal salvation who helped you. Right? And they working. And they working. No matter how much you understand it or not. They serving spirits. Helping us to be heirs of salvation. Right? That's what the Holy Ghost's job is to do. To reprove the world. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Continue with these angels. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. And pick it up at verse 7. Ephesians chapter 4. And pick it up at verse 7. When you get it, go ahead. But unto every one of us is given grace mm. according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Do you understand that? But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift that Christ wants to pass out to you. Right? Right? His grace. 
So it's not by your works. It's not you keeping the commandments that grace comes. This is merely tied to eternal salvation and why did I pick you? Why me, Lord? That's what grace is. Why me? Right? Go ahead. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. Now, you got to be bad to lead captivity captives. See, and that's what's going to happen. That's why the Lord can't wait to cover, recover his people. He's going to turn captivity on his head. See? Go ahead. And gave gifts unto men. Yes, he did. Go ahead. Now that he ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. Go ahead. He that descended is the same also that ascended up <laughs> far above all heavens, mm. that he might fill all things. Mm -hmm. And he gave some apostles, mm -hmm. and some prophets, mm -hmm. and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers. Them the gifts he's talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For the perfecting of For the, the perfecting of who? The saints. Go ahead. For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's why we have this holy angel that's going to help lead us, guide us into all truth. Let me just show you one thing, Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel chapter 1. Let me show you what these guys do. Now, when you get a chance, read Ezekiel chapter 1, the beginning of Ezekiel, and you'll see how Ezekiel is in a river of Cheba, and he's just sitting around there. And the same way, in Acts chapter 1, in Ezekiel chapter 1, these angels always come with this coming. Multitudes and multitudes of angels, right? And we're just going to pick it up at verse... Hmm, let's pick it up at verse 4. Right? So this is Ezekiel. And here is these angels coming. Verse 4, 1 and 4. Go ahead. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. This is how, this is how these angels are, what they look like. How they come to help you, but by the time they get to you, they done already melted down into the thoughts of your mind. They're walking around with wings, four wings, right? With eyes all over their wings. How many? Six wings? Four wings? Six. Six, six wings. Right, with hands under they, right? Under their wings with all these eyes over. That's how they was created. But by the time they get to you, they had thought. Some of them might show up. What's, what's happening, Joel? Mm -hmm. No, man, just trying to get on the bus. All right. They ain't going to tell you they're going to make sure you get there. Mm -hmm. They just there. Anybody ever make it home and knew somebody was after or didn't know somebody was after him? Anybody ever made it home and didn't know that somebody was after him? Didn't know, but the Lord knew. But the angel knew. You was getting ready to get it. <laughs> but you did not know you was getting ready to get it. And you made it home. Don't nobody know that but the Lord. But you made it home. Can't nobody say that. Yeah, man, that happened to me. Right? You can't say that. Because you don't know what had came upon you. But the Lord delivered you. That's what these angels' job is to do. So don't think it's just you. That's why he tell the children to be obedient. Because they're some of the hardest-headed people in the world now. Right? The children, hard-headed. Just hard. They just don't believe nothing that nobody say. Mm -hmm. And they don't value their life. They don't. They don't. They don't value their life. Right? Here we go. Go ahead. Pick it up from where you left off. Okay. I don't care. A great cloud and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. And that's these angels. Here we go. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had their likeness of a man. 
And everyone had four faces. And everyone had four wings. See, we dealing with angels. See? That's, that's, how, that's how this angel Gabriel is. Go ahead. And their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. And they had the hands of man under their wings and on their four sides. The hands of a man? Man wasn't even created then. But go ahead. And they four had their faces and their wings. Mm. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces, and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings on every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. Now, I'm going here to show you what they do. Watch this. Go ahead. And they went, every one, straight forward. Whether the spirit was to go, they went. That's their job. Whatever the spirit was to go, they went. They was told where to go. Skip down to verse. I'm not gonna. Verse 20. I don't have time for teaching right now. Verse 20, go ahead. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go. See, they obeyed. Go ahead. And the wheels were lifted up over against them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels that's good enough chapter 2 verse 2 go ahead and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me now when you finish reading chapter 1 finish reading chapter 1 on your own time and see how these guys started off and folding, a gulf and folding, and these angels coming down. And by the time they got to verse 26, just remember, and you read it on down, you'll see how these angels just came down, dropped themselves down, and came, and all of a sudden, they were in your mind, and the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. These guys get the job done. You need, all you gotta do is know the difference between good and evil mm -hmm. and pay attention. You know what evil is now, right? Let's go to St. John chapter, 1 John, 1 John, 1 John, and we're gonna pick it up at verse five. We're gonna continue. Now, this is one of the scriptures I went to, one of the testimonies I went to to show this guy. Well, I didn't show them yet, to let him know. This is why he don't understand the name of Christ. First John five and seven. First John five and seven. First of all, he didn't even know that by the name of Jesus, all knees shall bow. And everybody that come, even the sun and the moon and the stars, obey. Obey the Lord. You never seen the sun. You never seen the sun come up in the, what? The west? Right? When I was telling that to the church, they said, well, do they hear? Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. They're just spiritual bodies, different from the angels. But they're spiritual bodies. The sun, the moon, the stars, they bodies. They bodies. Five, First John 5 and 7. When you get it, go ahead. But there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And that's when I just wanted to go right there when this guy said, see, show me. Show me. He don't have a name. This angel don't have no name. But it's three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And they all operate under the name of Jesus. 
even us. We operate under the name of Jesus. Man, who name you coming in? They're going to ask us that. When it start get bad, name you in. Now, don't give me no any Jesus. I'm talking about the Jesus of a who. You're going to have to identify the Jesus you serve. What well, are they going to know? They're going to already know. Your face is going to give you away. Then you're in trouble. That's cool. Right? Let's go to Luke. Chapter 1. I think we read this, but we're going to read it again. Luke chapter 1. I don't know if we read this. Luke chapter 1. Yeah, we did, but we're going to read it again. Luke 1 and 18. Go ahead. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? Wait a minute. This guy know everything. He'll lead and guide you in all truth, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. Mm -hmm. And the angel answered and said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God. He stand in the presence of God. When you think this started? This started at the beginning. Go ahead. And I'm sent to speak unto thee. He said, I am sent. Then we read that in Ezekiel. And these angels go wherever they sent. Go ahead. And to show thee these glad tidings. Right. That's before you even get to St. John 15, where it said, he lead and guide you in all truth. Right? Second Peter. Second Peter. This guy stand in the presence of God. He stand in the presence of God. He know everything that the Lord ordered, especially to do for men. Second Peter. Then you can pick it up at verse 1. Chapter 1. 1 Peter 1, and pick it up at verse 13. Verse 13, the, spot, the prophet spoke by, these, by this angel. And without these angels, these people wouldn't have nothing to say. We in 1 Peter? That's 2 Peter. My fault. 2 Peter chapter 1. Thank you. 2 Peter. My fault. Right? 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 You know how to use it now, right? Right? If you if you don't agree that fault and sin is the same, go in and get your book and start digging in. And you won't find no difference in a fault and a sin like a brother tried to make. There's a difference. No, it's not. There's no difference between fault, sin, iniquity, all of that. There's no difference. He thought it was, but it's no difference. You think it's a difference, Joel? Uh oh, that's that, that's that, that's that. I gotta do more research. That's, that's, I gotta do more research. Maybe not. Second Peter, right? Yes, sir. All righty. You gotta have fun with the word. You can have fun with the word of God, right? All you're doing is sitting around trying to get an understanding, edification, right? That's what you're doing. And you can enjoy yourself. You don't have to get mad at each other because they don't see your supposed to be point of view. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I know what I'm talking about, and I got to understand it. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Right? I'm not going to tell you nothing wrong. Oh, Abraham, I know you ain't going to tell us nothing wrong, but that's your... Okay. You'll see. You'll see. It take a minute. Why? Because these words are from who? The Most High God. And it ain't easy to be understood all the time. Right? Second Peter chapter 1, pick it up at verse 15. Verse, hold on. Verse 15. Huh, what did I say? Yeah, that's when I was in the first Peter. But this is second Peter, one, and okay, verse twelve. Go ahead. Wherefore I will not be negligent 
to put you always in remembrance of these things. Mm. Go ahead. Though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Uh huh. That's why I'm saying you might not get fault and sin right away. But if I give you this lesson, you'll be smacking yourself in the head. How did I not? I thought I read this. I thought I read this. I thought I read this. God's fault is not our fault. Right? It's not. It, it's just not. I can't kick you on your shoe and say it's my fault. And it's the same as God's fault. No. Okay, you can say my fault, but that's not a fault. A fault needs the blood of Jesus to cover it. So you can't say my fault. Oh, you got something? Come on. My mistake. You can say that. You can say that. Can, can, can Adam say it was an error in the garden? Yeah. How? When it wasn't? It was a sin. It was a sin. Was it an error when God told him where not to go? He said, don't put your hand over your mouth and say what? That it was an error. Mm -hmm. Can Adam say it was an error? No. no, he can't. No, he can't. No, he cannot. The Lord would have slammed him. He would have slammed him if he said it was an error. He told them where the angels were. They were in the midst of the garden. That woman dwelt and walked over to a spot she had no business. He told them exactly what the tree looked like and where it was. Why were you in the midst of the garden? See, it's a lot. It's a lot. You just got to read and relax in the scriptures and get an understanding. See, she had no business in the middle of the garden. Why was you over there? All these trees all over the place. And you over there? Yeah, I know. Why? Because James said, right? After you didn't lust. Because the guy told you. You just kept lusting after that. Just kept lusting. Oh, well, tell me more. And when lust had conceived, it what? We didn't even have lust up there, did we? But we had uncleanness, right? I'm talking about earlier before some of the people got it, right? Just some stuff we're talking about. Go ahead. Verse uh, 14. Go ahead. Knowing that certainly I must put off these my tabernacle, uh -huh. even as our Lord Jesus Christ has showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be after able after my decease to have these things always and remember. Go ahead. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we've made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Mm -hmm. for, for he received from God the Father honor and glory. That's what the Lord received from his Father. Go ahead. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, mm. that is my, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Who do you think saying that? That ain't the father's voice. And that ain't Jesus' voice. Go ahead. And this voice, which came from heaven, we uh, heard. Uh, there's three to bear record in heaven. Let me tell you that. Go ahead. And all of them, it's the name of Jesus. Do you think Jesus came in his own name? Why do you think the angel going to come in his name? Go ahead. When we were with him in the holy mount. Go ahead. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Yeah, we do. Whereunto you do well that ye take heed, as unto mm. a light that shineth in a dark place. Ding, that light come up in your head and you see clearly now. Go ahead. Unto the day dawn and mm. the day star rise in your heart. Mm. Knowing this first. That no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. That's why I know a sin and fault is the same. Men will make it because that's the interpretation of what they think a fault is. But the Lord said the people died for their faults. Go ahead. For the prophecy came not in old time by mm -hmm. the will of man. No, it didn't. But holy men of God spake. As they were moved by the Holy Spirit. As they was moved by the angel. Mm -hmm. That's how you speak. You don't come talking nothing concerning Christ and the Father on your own. 
Mm -mm. This stuff been written out for you. That's why I said quit ad living. Quit ad living. The only way devils are cast out is through the word of God, not you ad living. See, you can't ad live everything or paraphrase everything. You can't paraphrase your way into the kingdom. Hebrews, no, Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7, Acts 7, Acts 7. And where this entire lesson is not going over Gabriel, 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 we didn't establish who this is. 7, and who the Holy Spirit is and who the comfort is. Cry to the Lord, cry to the Lord, cry to the Lord, cry to the Lord. The angel hear you, right? He'll take him to the Lord, and the Lord will make intercessions for you on all things. It's the Lord that heal. You got to believe that, man. It's the Lord that heal. Acts 7, pick it up at verse 51. Look what the Lord said here. Acts 7. Verse 51, this angel have a lot, his, his job is big and he's going to do it. Whether you understand he working on your behalf or not, he's working on your behalf, appreciate it. And they never, you never have to thank him. He's one of the lowest beings on earth. He's un, he, nobody never, never think or they don't have the understanding, you know. They always thank Christ, which is a good thing. But the angel's in the middle where he don't, he don't care whether you thank him or not or got understanding in what he's doing. He don't. He's going to do his job, and he's going to lead and guide you in all truth, whether you thankful of him or not. It's an unworthy position, right? It is. 7 and 51, go ahead. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised and hard and ear. Yeah. You do always, which is the Holy Ghost. See? Uh, keep, keep talking about, keep talking about there's a, another place of safety. Keep talking that stuff. Keep talking about the seals is open. See? I'm not pulling back because I've been knowing you 20-some years, 30 years. No. You fading away and don't even know it. You fading away. You ever seen a false prophet among your brethren? That's ugly. That's ugly. Keep, keep on with that stuff that you're talking. Go ahead. As your fathers did, so do ye. Yeah, you resist the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Mm -hmm. And they have slain them which show before of the coming of the just one. Yeah, that's the Lord. Go ahead. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Yeah, it's more, it's more, there's more. There's more betrayers. Yes, they are. Judas is not the only one that's going to kiss on the cheek and, and you be led up captive. You know, go ahead. Who have received the law by the disposition disposition of angels. Right, that's the administration. Mm -hmm. That's what disposition means, the administration of angels who have received the law by the dispensation of angels and have not kept it. That's good enough. Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2. We almost do. Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2. Hmm. Hebrews 2. See? Gabriel got something to do with your hearing, your baptism, your walk in life, asking questions, getting the answers to it. Right? You get all that credit. Right? And he's worthy. Two and one. Hebrews two and one. Go ahead. 
Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Uh-huh. Lest at any time we should let them slip. Just remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Go ahead. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast. See, if people obeyed them all the time, go ahead. And every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense. If it did, these angels would be slaying us and it'd be blood all over Detroit. It would be. Go ahead. And just repents of reward. Yeah, because it said, tell you in Ecclesiastes, right? Because the sins are not expedient, the heart of men is set, evil is set in their heart because we don't get what we got coming immediately from God or from the angel, right? Right? Go ahead. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Go ahead. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. The angels. The angels. Skip down to verse 9. Go ahead. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, mm -hmm. that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Go ahead. For it became him. For whom are all things, and by whom are all things, mm -hmm. and bringing many sons unto glory. Yeah, and how you think you get that? By your own? No, no, no. These guys help you. Go ahead and help me. Go ahead. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Yeah, through suffering, man. If you think you're going to get into this thing, any other way, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's going to be through suffering. Go ahead. For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one. That's right. That's us, the angels, the Lord himself are sanctified by the Father. Go ahead. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. <laughs> Go ahead. That's saying, the last one. Saying, I will declare thy name. He said, I will declare thy name. Unto my brethren. Mm. In the midst of the church. Will I sing praise unto thee? And that's what Jesus did. He came and declared the Father's name to us. Let's go to Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Exodus 23. And pick it up when you get it. This was before now that we read, but the Lord just happened to show these hard-headed Israelites coming up out of Egypt who was going to break their neck if they don't do what the Lord say do. And they had to understand that. Whether it came by the hand of Moses through his mouth, Moses received it by the hand of an angel to tell these people what the Lord said. 20. Exodus 23 and 20. Go ahead. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Uh -huh. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not. This is still intact. Go ahead. For he will not pardon your transgressions. Uh -huh. For my name is in him. But go ahead. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak. See? You got to hear them things in your ear when you say, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't make that decision. Don't, don't. No, that's the wrong decision. And you don't, and, and you don't do it. it. That's not just you. You obeyed his voice. And you didn't do that. You might not think that's how it go, but that's how it go. It's the order of things. And you're supposed to be saying, man, thank, thank, thank the angel. And thank God. Because he said, But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak. You get that? Right? You get that. Go ahead. Then I will be an enemy unto thine enemy. See? And an adversary unto thine adversary. That's good enough. Revelation 14 and 1. Revelation 14 and 1. Revelation 14 and 1. See, 
After Jesus died, nobody come in their name. That's why I say when the comforter, when he come, he will lead and guide you in all truth. Now the Lord know how this go. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He'll let you know what his name is. But everybody that come in the Lord after his death must come in the name of Jesus. 14 and 1. Go ahead. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sion, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. Good enough. Let's go to Isaiah 63. The name of his father's name written in their foreheads. Everything. Well, you, you, the Lord got to seal us. Some more. It's got to be some more seal on top of that in these last days. It's going to be some more seal. Everybody is not convinced. Everybody, although they still sitting among us, everybody is not convinced. Everybody don't believe that the evening and the morning starts like that. They don't. Some think the day comes first, disrespecting who Jesus is. They don't know that. See, everything must come out of the dark into the light. Everything. When you say the sun came up first, yeah, okay, keep talking that stupid stuff. Keep talking that stupid stuff. We can look at each other, because I'm right. I'm never wrong, as long as I stay in here. I'm never wrong. You just can't hear. You got a problem. You got a problem. Your mother told you, son, son, quit being so hard at it. Now you get here, and you're going to keep being hard at it. Listen, I'm your mother, and I'm your father, right? I ain't playing. I'm not playing. I'm going to bring you up out of here if it's the last thing I do, because I'm not going to have you sitting around talking that crazy stuff. No, we're going to fight this fight together. Let's fight it together. Everybody always leaving each other. No, we ain't leaving. We ain't leaving you. I want to say his name so bad. <laughs> it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. When your mind leaves, it's gone. You can act like you healing people by the, by the flesh all you want to. They came up in, in here getting on a bus walking. They got to the church walking. But when, it, when they got in, in the house, in the plant, in the place where everybody is, here they come limping. And then the preacher hits you on your head. Now you walking. Back again like you did when you came from the bus stop. You can fool anybody with all of that. But the mind, why they don't sustain people in their heart? Why they don't make nobody recover spiritually in their heart? Because they can't pull that off. See? Since Jesus came and died and rose, there's a lot of things that goes with that. And rose, there's a lot of things that goes with that that people just, even a lot of these teachers sitting out there that, that's supposed to be teachers, they don't understand that. They don't understand the difference between the old covenant and the new covenant. And the simple, uh, animals cannot take away sin. Simple as that. Your clothes you wear don't mean nothing. Never did. Never did. You ain't getting it, you are not getting it. Right? Right. 63 and 7. 63 and 7. What? Isaiah 63, my fault. Isaiah 63 and 7. 63 and 7. When you get it, go ahead. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord. Yes. And the praises of the Lord. Yes. According to all that the Lord has bestowed on us. Yes. And the great goodness toward the house of Israel. Yes, go ahead. Which he has bestowed on them according to his mercy. Yes. And according to the multitude of his loving kindness. Mm. For he said, surely they are my people. Children that will not lie. That's what the Lord was really believing. Right? But that's to us now. We won't lie. 
Go ahead. So he was their Savior. Yes, us. Go ahead. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. He was afflicted. Go ahead. And the angel of his presence saved mm. them. Mm. Go ahead. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. And he bare, bare them mm. and carried them all the days of old. You don't get that? That's what's happening now. All of the sick. Go ahead. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Yeah, who do you think they he talking about they vexed? He vexed that angel. And that, he's still here today. See, that's what the Lord is talking about. You're not forgetting or blasphemy out of the Holy Spirit. See, all sin is forgiven. Blaspheme against that guy. See, won't you? They give you one in the Colombian neckties. Right. That's what they're here to do. That's what the man was here to do. Right? Serve you. You pick which side you want to be served. You want to be talking the gospel too. You want things to be brought to your remembrance. You want to do the right things. You want to be good children. Although you're an adult, be good children. Go ahead. Therefore he was turned to be their enemy. Yes. And he fought against them. What verse? Verse 10. That's it. Go, that was it? Verse 10. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. That's good enough. And that's what the angels of the Lord do. He will turn against you. Ephesians chapter 4. And one verse. Ephesians 4. No. I take that back. Verse 28. No. Verse 27. I might just keep going up. Verse. Huh. Right. Right. Verse 20. That's good enough? Right. Go ahead. But ye have not so learned Christ. Go ahead. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him. You have been taught by the Lord, right? The who? So get, get an understanding. Go ahead. As the truth is in Jesus. Yes, it is. Go ahead. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, uh -huh. which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Go ahead. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You remember he said, he said, I put my laws into your inward parts and write them into your heart, right? He said, cleanse me from my secret faults. Secret. Wait a minute. He said, cleanse me from my secret faults. What do you think he talking about? <laughs> your sins. Right? He said, cleanse me from my secret faults. Right? A fault and a sin is the same. They ain't no different. Go ahead. And that ye put on the new man. Go ahead. What verse? Verse 24. Go ahead. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Mm. Go ahead. Wherefore put it away lying. Mm. Speak every man truth which is with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Oh, because if we don't speak truth one to another, we doing what? Transgressing? Faulting? Faltering? Go ahead. Be ye angry. Okay, it's okay. Go ahead. And sin not. But don't sin. Right? Go ahead. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. That's another one to let you know that the day is ending. Right? Right? Not beginning. The day is ending. Go ahead. Neither give place to the devil. Go ahead. Don't give place to the devil. Hey, if you dwell in the Holy Spirit, yeah, you're gonna, it's going to come in your mind, but don't follow it out. Let it go quickly. Stop it. That's been under your name. That's been written under your name as an error. When you think it and dwell on it and hold it and follow it and carry it out. A little leaven Leaven the whole lump. Go ahead. Let him that stole steal no more. See, we're talking about sin. Go ahead. But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give 
to him that needed. What what happened if he don't want to get nobody something? He ain't gonna work. Right? You're supposed to work so you can help yourself and help others that's in need. Go ahead. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, mm. but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Yeah, they remember grace unto the hearers. That's on behalf of the Lord, you all are ambassadors. We all are ambassadors. Go ahead. And grieve not the Holy Spirit It is. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God. This guy don't play. He will not pardon your transgressions. Why do you think it goes wrong for you? Because he got to handle his business. When it go ill for you, you know that the angel is working on the Lord's behalf. When it don't go well with you, that's your fault. Right? That's my fault. Now it's really our fault now that we understand. Go ahead, verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. You are sealed all the way to the day of redemption if you obey the Holy Spirit's voice. Jesus is not just going to come down and speak none to you. It's here. He spoke it. He spoke it. But however, he will send this comfort. Where he would help you, lead and guide you in all truth. Let's go to Daniel 8. Daniel 8. Daniel 8. Daniel chapter 8. Daniel chapter 8. Before we get out of here, I'm telling you, out of the, all these things that's about to happen on this earth, there's going to be a lot of adjusting, a lot of adjusting, a lot of adjusting, a lot of crying, a lot of weeping, a lot of weeping, a lot of weeping. Then you ate and pick it up at verse 15. When you get it, go ahead. And it came to pass when I, even I, Daniel, has seen the vision and sought for the meaning. Then behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. Mm, but this one no man. Go ahead. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Ulot, mm -hmm. which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood. And when he came, I was afraid. That was good enough. He said, and I heard a man's voice between the bank, banks of Eula, and, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. He's never changed. This guy understands it all. He understands all the 2,300 days. He understands the day when this guy set up in Jerusalem and passed off. Oh, my gosh. Yes. This guy going to go to work with his angels. And those that's going to be delivered, it's going to be delivered. Those who are not going to be delivered, it, it's not going to be that we're just going to be left out here without a buffer. The angel of the Lord's presence will be here. Right? And it's going to help lead us and guide us into all truth. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1, and pick it up at verse 1. Acts 1 and 1. When you get it, go ahead. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus. <laughs> go ahead. I know. I already know. Go ahead. Of all that Jesus began, both to do and teach unto the day in which Jesus began both to do and teach. Stay out of your mind. Let Jesus do the teaching. O Theophilus. Go ahead. I didn't write it. Go ahead. I'm talking about this one. Okay. Go ahead. Don't put words in my mouth. 
Go ahead. Until the day, until the day in which he was taken up. When Jesus was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. That's good enough. I hope you got some out of this lesson. God be with you all. In Jesus' name. Our Father which art in heaven, Our Father, Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed, be hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. In Jesus' holy and mighty name we pray. In Jesus' holy and mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.